directly move to the next challenge session, um, which was the video plus depth challenge. And for that, I would like to um, to um, introduce the next speaker. So this is um, on our second challenge, the winning entry for the video plus depth. That's right. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Xiang Tai Li. I come from Peking University. Uh, our work is Polymphomic Former is a winner of the tra uh, track two video plus depth track. Uh, this is a joint work from Peking University and Wuhan University and JD.com. Our work is polyform conformer, uh, unified query uh, learning for depth of wear video panoramic segmentation. Here is the outline. Uh, we have three uh, three parts. The first part is background knowledge and read work. And the second, we introduce our proposed method. And uh, finally, we show our experimental result. So le let me first introduce the task. The task is DVPS steps of where video panoramic segmentation. This is a unified task for depth prediction plus panoramic segmentation in video. So the method should output the depth track map and the segmentation class for each pixel in a video clip. The metric is DSTQ, depth aware STQ, which contains three atom, DQ, SQ, and AQ. The DQ means depth quality, SQ means segmentation quality, and AQ means association quality. So to improve the performance of uh, this task, we should improve uh, about uh, uh, this metric individually. Uh, th we can get the best result. First, uh, we will, I will uh, review the related work. Uh, the first is DV, PS dataset paper, which was propo proposed in VIPD lab. Uh, VIPD lab is based on panoramic deep lab. It uh, adds two components. One is the is the depth pre uh, dense depth pre dense depth, uh, dense depth prediction. The other is center regression for tracking. So uh, in this way, uh, we can use the uh, the regression center for uh, uh, for the tracking. There are also several work use query-based approach for end-to-end -end sense understanding. Uh, the first is DETR end-to-end -end object detection with transformer in ECCB. Uh, <clears throat> this work use object query to represent sense and stuff uh, for panoramic segmentation. However, it also uses a bounding box for, uh, at, the, at the first stage. Uh, <clears throat> in, uh, the Max Deep Lab removes the bounding box regression and uh, and the RPN part, they directly use the object query to get the final mask. There are also related work uh, named the mask former and KeyNet. The mask former is uh, the improved, improved version of DTR, which simplifies the pe pipeline of DTR and uh, it uh, directly outputs the uh, classific classification and the mask prediction uh, using query. Uh, the KeyNet is another uh, uh, work, concurrent work. It proposed to iteratively refine the kernel and the kernel feature. <clears throat> so uh, based on above knowledge, could we build a new model using object query for end to end learning uh, for uh, DVPS task? Our work, uh, polyformic uh, formic former, uh, is, uh, the, is uh, <laughs> an and to end the unified query modeling for this task. Our goal is to use query to link everything for DVPS, no center regression and no region proposal network. So it contains the four part. The first part is a backbone feature extractor to extract the feature. And then it con contains two paths. The first path is panoramic paths. The second path is the depth paths. The panoramic paths directly output Output things and stuff mask, while the depth pass the uh, output the depth map. Finally, we also add uh, actual panoramic pass for the next frame uh, prediction. This is uh, used for tracking. In this way, 
uh, our network is one model to solve uh, this this full task in a, in a, in a, in a simple architecture. So ex experiments show that joint modeling with um, depth prediction and pandemic segmentation will query lead to the better results for each other. So we term our uh, method uh, polynomial former, which means that the different query come from the different source. Uh, in this figure, we can see that the different query come from the uh, <clears throat> panomic segmentation and uh, depth prediction. But uh, uh, both can benefit each other, which is just like a, a phenomenon used in music field. As I see, our goal is to use query to link everything for um, panoramic depth and uh, tracking. So we in, first introduce the two pass results. The two pass is uh, panoramic feature and the depth feature, which are individual uh, feature parameter network. Uh, the goal is to provide the feature for uh, final depth prediction or scenes of staff mask prediction. And then we use the in, uh, unique depth query width by the dense prediction. That means that we only have one uh, one dense, dense prediction query here. Uh, the next, we use the joint depth and the uh, panoramic uh, query modeling. Each scene and staff correspond to uh, each depth query. As, as shown in this figure, uh, staff query correspond to staff depth query, since query correspond to uh, since depth query. This can be into, uh, implemented by both uh, bo um, broadcasting from to the uh, unit query. Uh, and then uh, uh, our uh, method is motivated by the Knet and the sparse SN. We propose to refine and uh, update the above query and the query feature where dynamic convolution. The, <clears throat> this process is refined iteratively, iteratively and repeatedly. It contains three steps. Uh, the first is mask grouping. We, we use, <clears throat> you need to predict the mask to grouping the query feature. Uh, <clears throat> and then we use the uh, use group the query feature to update the uh, object query. Uh, th uh, this process is uh, implemented by a dynamic convolution to update the learned query. And finally, we uh, use several tension along the object query. Uh, by this process, um, <clears throat> it can introduce much less computation cost than standard self retention block, uh, but also can avoid the noise from the different modality, uh, including, uh, including the depth and the semantics, because we operation all the things on the query level. <clears throat> uh, and the next, we look at the tracking part. We adopt the tracking tracking head and the loss from the coincidence paper to learn the uh, embedding directly uh, from the corresponding uh, scenes mask. Uh, that means that uh, our uh, tracking is borrowed from the uh, previous panoramic uh, pass prediction. <clears throat> uh, during the inference, we have uh, three map to inference. The first is panoramic map. We merge the uh, training and the staff mask jointly uh, as a previous work in, uh, just like panoramic deep lab. Uh, for the depth prediction, we uh, uh, paste the depth query prediction since we have an, an, an query prediction. And on, uh, we paste this query pre uh, depth prediction on the corresponding scenes and the staff mask map. Mm. <coughs> Then for the tracking, we use the coincidence tracker to inference the tracking ID. Because our tracking is obtained from sense mask, uh, so the tracking ID can be directly inferenced from uh, the tracker. So uh, for the experiment part, we first verify our uh, method on Cityscape DVPS dataset to verify the image baseline. Uh, all the model are pre-trained on the map purely and the city data set following the panoramic deep lab setting, which results in a very strong uh, baseline. And we only uh, pre-train our method using a panoramic pass. As seen in, in table one, uh, it shows that a consistent gain on both segmentation quality and the depth qu uh, quality. Uh, in table two, we explore several design choices in exploring the relationship between the scenes staff query and our uh, depth query. 
we found that uh, adding um, by broadcasting from the scenes and stuff query works best. <clears throat> uh, and then we uh, perform uh, tracking. Uh, we explored the three different tracker, including deep sort, unit track, and coincidence track on KTDVPS uh, dataset. Uh, we found uh, coincidence track works the best among uh, these tracker uh, on KTDVPS. Uh, to be noted that we only use appearance in uh, embedding during the uh, inference, and we perform tracking in uh, online manner. So, uh, so I think our 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 work can be improved by. A, a huge space with uh, such as motion per, uh, per uh, Our work, uh, our work achieved the best uh, uh, <coughs> performance on KDDVPS dataset. Uh, for the final model, we explain the uh, training process. We first train the model on mapillary and the cityscape, and then fine tune the model on the CDDVPS, and then finally on the KTDVPS. Or oh, the most exciting are the same as the panoramic deep lab and the VIP deep lab. Uh, <clears throat> so our work is a single model and a single skill inference. Uh, uh, we do we do not using the test time aggregation tricks, and the tracker is inference online, not offline. Uh, we do not perform the offline association. So here is our visualization result. We we give an. Uh, one original image, we show the unified query for both panoptic and the depths. Here is a scenes mask, and here is a segmentation, segmentation uh, map. <coughs> uh, here is the scenes steps, uh, scene, scene steps map, and here is a staff depths, uh, depths map. Uh, each depth map are corresponding to the scenes and the staff mask. Uh, we paste the, this depth ma uh, map into the final depth, uh, final depth map. Thanks for your watching, and uh, uh, thanks for our team member Hao Bo Yang and Yi Bo Yang, and also we uh, thanks for our uh, challenge hoster Su Yuan and Mark. Thanks so much for your talk. Um, really interesting results. Um, I would like to open up um, to questions to from the audience. So there's one asking about how many iterations are needed for the query refinement process. Uh, uh, that is a good question. For the query refinement, uh, <coughs> refine, uh, we use about uh, sixteen. Uh, we we use six iteration. Six iteration. Yeah. Just like uh, the number of the decoder. For uh, of, uh, in in detail, yeah. Are there other questions from the audience? If not, then I have one more high level again. Uh, what would you describe are really the unique challenges that you face here doing this like task jointly? Um, like depth estimation, the segmentation, the tracking part, etc. Mm, uh, I, uh, so, so, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, our goal is to uh, use a unified uh, representation, uh, or where <clears throat> to learn a unified model to for this task. Uh, I, I think I personally think that the, the depths and the, Segmentation ma uh, mask can benefit each other because uh, we, we can see that uh, along the boundary uh, for the depth prediction, uh, they are nearly the same as the uh, segmentation mask. Yeah, uh, uh, this is one insight. The other insight is that uh, using the query can avoid a lot of uh, noise. For, uh, for example, uh, the depth uh, feature and the segmentation feature may be uh, different, uh, the the uh, they may be very differently since they have a different laws. Uh, but if, if we use the query, we just uh, like doing the uh, policy task of, of reasoning the uh, existing uh, things in 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 a sense, just like uh, a person or car. <clears throat> uh, in this way, we can uh, optimize the depths and uh, the 
and the <coughs> segmentation feature generally. As shown in our uh, experiment, we can see that uh, joint learning uh, using query can lead to uh, better results. But uh, if you directly use the dense prediction uh, for <coughs> from both tasks, we, we did not we didn't observe the uh, performance gain. Uh, but uh, for semantic segmentation, we, we also found a uh, performance drop mm -hmm. in cityscape. I think, thank, thanks for all your insights and congratulations for winning this challenge.